Good afternoon, everyone. Just wanted to give you a quick uh, presentation to describe Verify It Now. So Verify It Now is a startup company. We're just over a year old. Uh, we design products that enable you to authenticate items and then manage those items once you've bought them and, they own, and you own it. You can do this whether you are in the supply chain or you're a consumer. And we do this very, very easily through a cell phone. So any smartphone that either has an optical reader, we use 2D barcodes, or we use NFC tags, so all the Android phones and hopefully sometime in the next five years the uh, iOS will open up their NFC reader, or Bluetooth, BLE, allows you to identify the item and through our back-end system you can actually uh, authenticate it to make sure that it is in fact an authentic item manufactured by the manufacturer. And the reason that we really started this uh, company is really looking at authentication. My background is security, our chief uh, scientist background is security. It's all about securing the communications, securing the products. And counterfeiting in the golf industry is absolutely huge. Beats has a huge counterfeit problem. Uh, in the golf industry, roughly 50% of all, counter, all clubs are thought to be counterfeit. And worldwide, across all industries, this is roughly a $1 trillion industry. So when you think about counterfeiting things, you've got aircraft parts complete. Aircraft engines have been known to be counterfeited. Not just small pieces thereon, but complete systems. Personal goods are heavily counterfeited. Even the low-priced items are heavily counterfeited. And as you're going through your daily business and you're, you're buying products, well, if you buy a $10 Rolex watch on the street, you know it's a counterfeit. But when you go and you spend $10,000 on it at a, the jewelry store, you want to make sure that it is, in fact, the real thing. And unfortunately for us, it's very hard for us to know what is what, particularly in today's day and age of eBay, Craigslist, secondhand goods, particularly valuable goods that have a long life. Uh, all of these products have different impacts on our lives as well. So cosmetics can actually cause... Uh, bad things to happen. Uh, Melvin was found in counterfeit baby formula in China. Uh, several babies died from it. So this is a huge problem, both from a health and safety concerns. Counterfeit pharmaceuticals are absolutely uh, a known problem throughout the world. And all of these items have to be tracked and traced and somehow authenticated before you use them. The question is, how do you do that? Well, Verify now, we actually have a system that works on any smart device, smartphones, tablets. Uh, it's just an app, and with that app, you're able to uh, then read a tag that's associated with the item. This is either an NFC tag that has a cryptographic security function on it and a secret key, or a barcode that has specifically encrypted information stored on it, or a BLE tag that also has cryptographic capabilities. All BLE tags are active components, we can run all kinds of crypto on them, really high security stuff. We work with all of those devices, we work with all of those types of technologies, and you just need to integrate that technology into your device if you want to be able to use our system. And it's very simple to use. You launch your application on your smart device, you read the embedded tag, and the smart device will simply tell you whether it's authentic or if it can't verify that it's authentic. And what's happening on the back end, it's actually hitting our servers, which maintain the information, the database of what is a real product, what is not a real product, the identifier, the security key, that cryptographic key, it's a shared secret. We use hardware security modules or HSMs. So these are devices where the keys go in. You can use them while they're in there, but you can never pull them out. So even if someone compromises our system, they can't steal the keys. And really, the keys are the keys to our kingdom. You know, from a consumer perspective, our VIN app, uh, allows you to get public information on the items. So when you scan an item, if you're just interested in it, not only do you know if it's authentic, but you get more information about it. You know what type of item it is, possibly a serial number. So you can look at it and go, oh yeah, is this more information than I want? You can get a direct link to the website to find out even more information. Once you purchase it, you can go ahead and register it. Through a normal product registration, using the app, we'll have all of your information. You now goes into your items category, so now you can manage that item. You've got product registration. If you ever lose that item, you've got all the information on your account. All that information can be provided. If it's lost or stolen, you can put a notification that, hey, I've lost or stolen this item. And if somebody finds it and scans it, that information will come up. So the next person that's buying it, 
uh, they'll know that, hey, wait, this is stolen or lost item. I need to find out what's going on. Uh, all of this allows you as a consumer then to manage your items, make sure they're authentic, and make sure you're not dealing with counterfeit products if you don't want to be dealing with those counterfeit products. So again, it's history, uh, owner history, who owns it, because you can register it, you can change ownership to long-lived items. You sell that Rolex, you can stop being the owner, and whoever buys it next can become the owner. You can track those items. We actually have a customer now that's using the VIN app to track through their supply chain. So they're actually using it through their own supply chain for track and trace capabilities. It's a very simple tool. Uh, we have another customer that's tracking and tracing it through not only their supply chain, but their customer's supply chains to point of deployment, point of use. Uh, it allows us to not just authenticate it again, but make sure that we know who is actually reading it. And at point of use or point of interest, this is really where the manufacturer gets all the real benefits. So when it's authenticated at point of interest, I'm in the store, I authenticate it, suddenly the manufacturer knows, hey, they're interested. I know where they're interested, I know where the interests lie. This allows me to then have more direct marketing capabilities. Maybe they didn't buy it at that time, but if they're properly incentivized, they probably, probably could be. You can promote new products or related products, increase your web traffic just by having that real-time information that comes up, increase your brand awareness, of course, have that customer loyalty. And really, when you think about it, you really want to make sure that if your products are being counterfeited, you want to make sure that they are real when your customers buy them. Doesn't matter what industry you're in, counterfeits happen. You want to protect your brand integrity by making sure that you don't sell those counterfeit products. And if those counterfeit products are being sold, you want your consumers to know that they are, in fact, buying a counterfeit product in real time. Allows you to register to buy. If you're a consumer, you can manage them. If you're the manufacturer or the brand owner, of course, you can capture the point of interest, increase your product registration, strengthen your consumer loyalty, and you get a lot of additional benefits. So it's not just helping the consumer with the counterfeit. You get a large amount of information that the manufacturers and the brand owners can use as well. So with that, you really need to just get real today. Thank you very much.